Hi everyone, welcome back to the series. Uh, this will be talking about uh, passing by reference or passing by value. So here I have simply just a an i32 number, and we're going to pass to this function add 10, which is going to take in i32 and return an i32. And this obviously just adds 10. Uh, obviously here we're just passing it by value. So what this does is it simply copies it. It copies the i32. Uh, generally, if the value is very small, and it's the same size and you don't need it to change like you sometimes you want to pass by reference if you want it to change in the original function but if you don't care and you just want to copy it you don't you can just pass like this and there's no problem so obviously this won't affect the value so if i print this all right so first so we start off with 20 and number is 10 so obviously we number is 10 so we we pass it by value. It doesn't. It just makes a copy, changes the copy, or it doesn't even change the copy in this instance. But say if I added ten and then return input, so you could do this: uh, input plus equals ten, and then return input. I believe that actually give you an error because uh, input values are immutable, so you can't do this. Uh, so you'd have to make a copy of it. <laughs> what I what I mean is basically it doesn't change the actual value when you pass by value. It copies it doesn't change the actual original value from this function. Uh, then we have add 10 reference and we're simply putting a pointer to the input. So how this works is normally parameters are immutable. Um, you can't change them. But when it when it comes to pointers, the address that it's pointing to is constant, but the actual value at the address is mutable. So you can change the address, the value at the address. That's why you pass a pointer. Uh, and this simply means that we don't have to return anything, so we can return void, and it just plus is 10. And then we look here, number equals 20. And then uh, we have another one, add 10. Yeah, I think I just added 10 just because uh, it's a var variable, so it has to be uh, passed like that. Uh, then I made a struct. So I have this struct called object, obviously a terrible name. It's just something random, and it just has uh, an array of 50 i32s and a u size of the length. And that's basically how many are set. And then I just get object and just set them to 1 to 50. Um, say, for example, we want to pass this. So I have this thing, print object, which just prints the values. So what I could do in theory is I could do this. And then at the original thing, we're going to take this off. Take this off. And then it does the same thing. Apparently, we're getting an error. So we're getting an error because I didn't change this to this. Now that would be fine. Because it was a pointer, you have to do it like that. So this will do exactly the same thing. So it just prints the array. And then I have another one here, add to array, which adds 1 and then prints it. So we 1 to 50, and then we add 1, 2 to 51. That's what it does. But the reason why you don't want to do this, what I'm doing here, let me zoom in a bit. So here I'm, make this smaller so it's easy to see. So here, for example, we're passing the object by value. And let's look at the size of it. So we have 50 i32s and one u size. So an i32 is uh, four, by four bytes and a u size is eight bytes. So 50 times four, um, 50 times four would be 200. And then the u size is eight, so that's 208. So we're copying 208 bytes when we do this. So if we put put in this, we're literally copying 208 bytes of this array of this uh, struct. But if we do this, const, so this is uh, passing by const reference, meaning we can't change the values. We simply just want to use the values. We don't want to change them. This will simply just create a pointer, and that's eight bytes. So this will be just a lot faster. Normally, you won't really see it unless you're looking for really, really performant code. Uh, but there was a, there is a situation I'll show later where it really is important if you're passing by reference or not. I'll show that later. But here, so you want to pass by const reference most of the time if it's an object. If it's an i32, it doesn't matter because, uh, I mean, you could do this like const i32 by const reference. But as it's an i32, that would actually be worse because an i32 is four bytes and a pointer is eight bytes so you're actually making you're copying a bigger size um so it doesn't really matter with an i32 it only only matters when it's a something big something bigger than the actual size of a pointer 
Now I'll show you how this can cause errors sometimes. All right, so I was making a string struct just to kind of make it easier to deal with strings <clears throat> because using um, using slices is sometimes a bit annoying. So it's basically just, uh, so I have these uh, constants up here. I have a small string, a, a regular string, and a large string, and it's just 50 characters, 200 characters, or 1,000 characters, and it's basically just a U8 array. And then we have the length showing how many are filled in. So say if you put in 10, a letter of 10, and you create this by uh, create string, which creates an error or a string. Um, then we just we put in the length depending on the size of whatever you put in. So if you put in hello world, it will be what nine or ten or whatever. The size is eleven, so the length will be eleven. Um, and then, but well basically, I just have a load of functions that can be used as strings. Uh, but I was having some errors, so let me. All right, so I have these, I have these substring uh, functions, which substring on its own, say substring end, this will basically just shorten it. Um, so it will set the size to a smaller version of itself, basically. So say if you want, and if you have 50 characters set and you want to go to 40, then you, you'd set it to the final index 10 below the max, and it will, it will set it to simply just a shorter version of itself. But then I have a substring slice, which basically just returns a slice based on the specified indexes. Okay, so before what I was doing, um, I had it like this. So I had the pointer was gone, and it was like this. So have a think, and try to come up with why this would cause problems to do that. All right, I've given you a moment. Um, so, if you thought that we're copying this, we're copying the string. Yes, that's bad. It's bad to copy the string. All right, so I thought I'd show you what happens when you actually run this. So here, I just I'm creating a string with hello world. I print the string, then I get a substring slice, and then I print the string again, and then I print the slice. I'm doing this just so it will actually overwrite the stack variables. But say, for example, here I'll make this. Now it's a const const reference. So let's run this and we'll see what happens. So hello world, hello world. And it basically what I've done is I've made it world length dot minus two. So it should be minus two, which here it shows hello were. So that's correct. But what happens if I make this non const reference? Just make it a reference like no, just just copy it. That's all I'm going to do is copy it. So what happens? And now it's showing DD. What, what, what is this doing? DD again. Basically, it's overwriting it because I'm sending it a stack, a temporary stack, stack variable. So we have a pointer to a temporary stack variable that's gone out of scope. So that's basically what. So you need to, you have to do this. Const reference. It's also just more efficient as well because you're not copying, you know, a massive array, especially if I see the, a large, uh, the large string, for example. String size. A large string is a thousand U8s. So it's a thousand bytes. So we're copying a thousand bytes if we don't pass it by reference. So if something's big, you want to pass by reference. Also, if you're passing a pointer to something, you don't want to return a pointer to a local stack variable that will go out of scope. Uh, so that's why I was getting errors. But now I don't get errors because I pass by const reference. And const reference simply means that we can't edit the value at the address. That's all it means. So we're linking to a, another variable in another function, and we can't change the values. And that's basically all it means. But yeah, that's all for passing by reference, passing by value. So in general, you pass by value if something's small and you don't want it to change in the original function. You pass by, by uh, pointer, by reference, if you want to change it and you want it to affect the, the uh, variable in the original in the original function, and you pass by const reference if you want to actually, if you want to reference the original variable but not change it. All right, one last thing I just forgot to say. So say for example, we have here, let's say const. Anyway, so say for example, we have this struct, right? We have this construct. So I have lots of uh, f things here, um, lots of functions here. Let's say, for example, let's look for, let's say remove first, which passes in just a, uh, which passes by reference, obviously, and we remove the first letter. That's all it's going to do, remove the first letter. So imagine we do this, let's say word dot remove first. 
So look at this. What do you think is going to happen? So we get an error. Why? Because it's expecting a strings.string .string pointer, and we gave it a const strings.string .string pointer. The reason it's const is because this is const. So if you want to use remove first, then you have to make this a var. Then this will work. And remove first can actually give you an error. So <laughs> actually makes sense. Word dot print line. We print line and then we remove the first letter. That's basically all it does. Um, but yeah, it has to be. So basically, if it's a var variable, it's a mutable variable, then you can pass by both, actually. You can say if I, uh, obviously it won't work in this situation, but say, for example, uh, another one, let's say, get slice, it passes by const reference. But you can pass that in if you want. If you've got a slice, so you want to go, say, sorry, it's a slice. All right. Mm, so many errors I'm forgetting. It's my fault, though. Right. So here, so this slicer will just return a slice of that. But the slice here, say, go to get slice. Uh, I think the reason it returns an error is because it could be empty. Yeah, that's basically the only reason. Because um, I don't want to return an empty slice. That could, you know, it could cause problems. Anyway, so here we're, we're passing by const reference meaning we're not going to mutate it, but even itself is actually a var variable. But if you make it const, you can't do this. I mean, we, so if you make it const, basically that means that you'll only be able to use the functions in this uh, struct that are const. If it's like remove first and it's not by const, then you can't use it. But say if I remove, for example, this, then this will be fine. So I've made it const. So this does exactly the same thing. It just gives you slice, hello world. And so var variables can be passed by both const reference and non-const reference. Const variables can only be passed by const reference because they're immutable. What's the point? And you don't send them as a mutable form when they're immutable. Let me know if you have any questions. See you guys next time.